chewy chicken savory noodles these noodles so easy to make and the flavor out of this world crazy good these are my chicken and ginger noodles So often when you're doing really quick noodles at home, it's all about just like chucking in whatever you've got in the bottom of the fridge and it kind of all ends up as one big kind of mess of different vegetables and you know, that kind of thing. But you know, I think this dish really speaks to how a very simple concentration of flavors can make something really beautiful. So what I'm talking about here is we're gonna concentrate on how we get the best kind of most beautiful ginger flavor and then just complementing that with some you know mushroom flavor and a very elegant kind of noodle sauce so there you go this is a very elegant but easy noodle dish for you guys um, we're going to start off with the chicken first of all and i've got some chicken thigh here i'm going to add some dark sweet soy sauce i love the color that this soy sauce brings to this dish and then a little smattering of some ground white pepper so it's kind of like these little touches that really will make your noodles extra special. The white pepper, the dark soy sauce. And now our stir fry sauce is uber simple. Oyster sauce and some fish sauce and a little dash of sugar. That sugar will help to round out the kind of salty savoriness. And now let's talk about mushrooms. So I am gonna be using two types of Asian mushrooms. I've got some shiitake mushrooms and some wood ear mushrooms here. So I'm gonna grab hold of my shiitakes first of all. And I'm here in Thailand, so it's really easy for me to get beautiful fresh Asian mushrooms. But the great news with these two is that you can find them dried as well. Both of them from a Chinese supermarket or online. They're really great to kind of have the dried version in your pantry because you can just keep them indefinitely and they're always there. Okay, so shiitakes first. I'm gonna take the stem off because the stem is always kind of tough and chewy. and just slice those. And now the wood ear mushrooms. So these guys kind of look a little odd. In fact, actually in Thai, uh, the literal translation for the name of these is rat ear mushrooms because you can see they kind of look like you know, little rat's ears. The way to prepare them is to just take off the kind of I don't know, that kind of little, little bubbly bit from the, from the back of the mushroom. And these are great. They're really crunchy, so they actually add a really great texture, as well as a really beautiful color as well. Now, if you can't get a hold of either of these mushrooms, the shiitakes or these wood ear ones, go ahead and use, you know, some button mushrooms, some portobello mushrooms. It's totally fine as well. All right, let's talk about ginger. Now, not all ginger is created equal. Let's have a look here. I've got one piece here which is quite pale, you can see, and another one here which has darker skin, skin's a lot firmer. Now they're both fine to use, but if you want a really fresh, lovely, light ginger flavor, try and find one that looks a little younger, like this one, a bit paler. That's gonna give you the best ginger flavor for your stir fry here. Now, because this is quite a young piece of ginger, it's gonna be really easy to peel. And in fact, I don't, I'm not even gonna bother peeling all the skin off because the skin is so fine and thin. If you had an older piece of ginger, I would definitely recommend peeling all of the skin off. And for this one, I just want some really nice, fine strips of ginger. So now we're ready to get everything going in our wok. Want some oil. Some garlic. Some onion. And now my chicken. Make sure you spread that chicken out. You really wanna make sure you're getting as much Keep contact with the chicken as possible so that it sears nicely instead of just kind of stewing. And you're just going to keep stir frying this until that chicken is just cooked through.
Okay, time to get the ginger and the mushrooms in there. And the reason I'm adding the ginger in here and not at the beginning is that I want to keep that really fresh, punchy ginger flavor. I don't want it to sear too much. So there is method to the madness, everyone. I'm just going to toss this through for, you know, half a minute, minute or so. Oh, I just love that color already. It's so, you know, like autumnal and beautiful and comforting. Mm, that ginger smell is amazing. Okay, at this point, I'm going to turn this off and concentrate on getting my noodles cooked perfectly. All right, so I've got some boiling water. And these are just good old dried rice stick noodles. They go in. And you really want to keep an eye on these because the worst thing for a noodle stir fry is to start out with soggy noodles. You'll just end up with a huge mess in your wok, which is not what you want. Now, just as soon as these are tender and these have taken literally like two minutes, drain them off and turn that heat back underneath your stir fry and get those noodles in there. I'm going to add in that stir fry sauce we made earlier, plus everything together. Mm. And see how those noodles are just beautifully chewy and separate and glossy and not sticky and soggy. I'm adding my spring onion. Oh, and just look at how that looks in a pan. I love those colors. The pop of green as well. And let's get those steaming noodles out onto a plate. So there you go, my friends. A very restrained stir-fried noodle dish uh, in terms of the ingredients, but the flavor really does pack a punch. All right, let's try it out, shall we? Mm. Mm. That ginger flavor is so beautifully intense Mm, and fresh. This is the kind of noodle stir fry dish that, you know, really tastes so special but is so easy to make. Mm. Yum. We gotta try it. It's as simple as that. Mm. Yum.